For many of us, driving down the street in New York is nothing more than normal. As we drive on the streets, there is nothing to worry about except the cars driving nearby. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose, like, and share this video with your friends. However, a simple walk through the city can suddenly turn into something worrying when the police start following you. This is exactly what happened to this man. Why did the police start following him like this? When you look in the rearview mirror, there's nothing worse than seeing a police car following you. The prospect of being asked to exit your vehicle and receive a hefty fine is intimidating. However, these types of incidents occur frequently, and drivers are sometimes stopped for reasons other than speeding. We usually panic because we think we are about to receive a fine. We try not to end up in that scenario. However, people stop for various reasons. For William Jaswinski, it wasn't just a traffic ticket. When a police officer stopped William, he was walking through the city. The young man was naturally bewildered because he had no idea what he had done wrong. Let's see what happened that led to the incident. He was an excellent driver. He had no previous accidents or tickets on his record. He wondered why they had stopped him. What happened next took William completely by surprise. The officer got out of his vehicle and approached him. The police officer cautiously approached William after getting out of his patrol car, stared at the young man for a few seconds, then glanced at the dashboard of William's car. This is not a typical meeting. When William looked in the rearview mirror, he saw red, white, and blue lights flashing. He was well aware of the implications. When he heard the police siren start to sound, his suspicions were verified. With his heart pounding, William's mind was filled with a million questions. On the other hand, nothing made sense to the young man. He wondered why they had stopped him. When the police officer approached his window, he tried to calm down. William couldn't help but feel taken aback. After all, he wasn't running or doing anything illegal. In any case, the only thing he could do was listen to what this policeman had to say. He was nervous because he had no idea why they were following him like that all of a sudden. I couldn't understand what was happening. William had never been arrested. Why then at this specific moment? Since he considered himself a law-abiding person, the young man became enraged at this circumstance. Without a doubt, William was following the policeman's instructions. The young man had turned to the side of the road. He was waiting to hear what the policeman had to say. The officer finally approached him after what seemed like an eternity. When the police officer approached, William rolled down his window and called out to him. He pondered why he had been stopped and whether he had accelerated without realizing it. Good morning, officer, the young man asked. Were you speeding? William did his best not to offend the police officer who was in a position of authority. The young man did not want to get into trouble. He couldn't understand why they had stopped him. William returned to his question calmly and politely. William felt like a lifetime had passed when the police officer finally answered his question. The officer seemed to want to take his time. He was in no hurry to respond. And what did the officer respond to William? When the police officer informed William that he would not receive a ticket, he was surprised. The police officer greeted him by saying, Good morning. No, he wasn't speeding, so what was going on and why had the police officer stopped William's car? William had heard the policeman say that the young man had been detained for no apparent reason. This, understandably, made him feel even more confused. The two men then exchanged an awkward silence. Why had he asked him to stop if there was no specific reason for him to be stopped? The young man was getting nervous and fearful. Surely the policeman had a purpose for stopping William in the middle of the morning. William paused, waiting for the policeman to say something else. Besides being puzzled, he was getting impatient, but then the officer said something that surprised William. It was not at all what he had anticipated. The police officer had stopped him because he needed to talk to William about something. The officer explained, I just wanted to stop him and thank him for his service. William was certainly surprised by what the officer told him. What did the official mean by service? Also, how did he know that William had performed that service? No doubt William was even more confused because he was just trying to get through the day, but the police officer had stopped him. The young man was surprised by the fact that a random police officer, whom he did not know, knew that information. Is it possible that they have already met? 
However, many thoughts raced through William's head at that moment. William immediately recognized why this police officer was aware of the situation. The young man had temporarily forgotten the bumper sticker of the truck he was driving. Anyone who saw the sticker knew that William had served in the military. Military veterans often display decals on their vehicles. Other motorists waved their hands or honked their horns to thank William for his past service. However, he had never been stopped by a police officer. When William found out, he expressed his gratitude to the officer. Oh, the bumper sticker, nice. You're welcome, sir, the young man responded. The police officer responded, my pleasure. But this wasn't the end of his interaction. On the contrary, it was only the beginning. William hoped the conversation would end there, but the police officer refused to let him go. The young man had no idea what was about to happen. What happened next was such a beautiful moment between these two. William couldn't leave at that time. This young veteran still had some questions for the officer. The policeman, for example, wanted to know where William worked. Where have you served? The officer asked. At first, William had some reservations about what was happening. He knew it wasn't a police officer's job to question him about his military service, but he had to answer. After all, it was a bit of a personal question to ask someone you don't know. Finally, William answered the policeman's question. He told the agent that he had worked as a heavy vehicle operator and that he had recently returned from a Middle Eastern country. I was in Iraq, William said. I was at Fort Benning for 15 months. He had not anticipated being detained for his military service. However, he didn't know that there was a deeper reason why the police officer kept asking him questions. In his opinion, the policeman only seemed interested in William's service. The young man was perplexed to know why the police officer had stopped him. This police officer, on the other hand, had completely different motives than the young man imagined. This police officer, on the other hand, had his motivations. It's not every day you get stopped by a police officer who wants to thank you and get information about your military service. The officer then informed William that he also had a son who had just served there. The officer said, well, okay, uh, my son also went to Iraq. That's why I had detained the young man. The police officer just wanted to know more about his son's experience. He went on to tell William more about his son's time in Iraq. The young man began to see things in a new way. William was no longer bewildered or alarmed. He now understood the police officer, although he had not long ago completed a PTSD treatment program. William was still a novice when it came to talking about his experiences in the war. Then their conversation took an unexpected turn. What the policeman said next took William by surprise. He was convinced that he had understood everything. Then he received shocking news. He had not anticipated this turn of events. He didn't make it home, the agent informed William. While he was on duty, the police officer's son had died. The police officer was struggling to say these things. It was truly horrible, and William's heart broke. All he had to do was listen. William couldn't help but feel sorry for the officer. After returning home, he went out to enjoy life, but this police officer had lost his son in Iraq. Surely you can imagine the emotion that William experienced at that moment. The young veteran's only intention was to offer condolences to his distraught father. Man, I'm so sorry, William said. The policeman then regained his composure. He was about to let him go when he noticed something on the young man's dashboard. The officer was about to let the young man go when he noticed something strange on the dashboard of his car. An American flag that had been deliberately folded. But what was it about the flag that had attracted the policeman's curiosity? An American flag is lowered during a military funeral in the United States. It is then folded 13 times to form a triangle. This shows the lives lost by soldiers during active duty. Each fold of the flag denotes a different meaning. I see you have a flag on your truck, the police officer said. The flag was folded to pay respect to the deceased troops who had fought for the country, as is customary in the military. Something had caught the policeman's attention. What exactly? 
the policeman turned to the folded flag he had at home. The army had given it to him in memory of his son. Without a doubt, the policeman's heart was moved when he saw that flag. The policeman said, The one we took for him. Well, he's at home. He then asked William to do him a favor. Can I ask you a question? Without hesitation, the young man accepted, but he was completely taken by surprise. What did the police officer say that completely shocked you? William had gotten up early that beautiful spring morning and had decided to take his truck for a spin. He could do whatever he wanted on his day off because he deserved it. William was delighted to stroll through the quiet, traffic-free streets of New York. That was before he noticed the police car chasing him in his rearview mirror. All of this led to the conversation about service in Iraq. As for the favor, the police officer asked William to get out of his truck and hug him. Would you mind coming out and getting a hug? Asked the sad police officer. What a surprising turn of events, don't you think? At first, William was surprised by the request. After all, how many times do you get stopped by a police officer who asks you to hug him? But William understood his anguish. This led him to accept the request. This is not at all a typical situation. After asking that question, the agent burst into tears and told William something that impressed the young veteran. William didn't have much choice. The policeman bared his soul to William as tears ran down his face. He explained to the young man that he had been detained because William and his son had a lot in common. That undoubtedly explained why the police officer had asked him for a hug. 